2021, something rather special returned that fans were longing for after the Sun and Moon TCG ended with a strong last year. Special art cards were reintroduced again. These are, as the name might already suggest, full art cards with a special artwork on them. Why is this so important? Creatures seem to have been surpassing their limits for the past generations of Pokemon trading card game. This over 25 year old trading card game has brought a lot of artists and illustrations. What makes EV Hero so special among the sets that were released this generation? In early 2021, EV Heroes was trademarked and was later revealed to be an Evolutions inspired set as many had speculated. And all Evolution sets in a year where special arts were a thing. You can guess how this played out later that year. This set was introduced claiming to have the most special arts ever in a set so far. On top of that, we were just in the 25th anniversary year of Pokemon TCG and there was a lot of attention for Pokemon TCG in general with not much stock available and new products being quickly sold out. Fear of missing out was high, even in Japan, so the hype and tension was already there. The set and the corresponding products were revealed along with the Espeon VMAX Special Art promo card in the Evolutions Special Set. This product was so desirable, people had almost no chance of getting this product. Creatures apologized twice for the low availability of EV heroes, which was unprecedented at the time. All Evolution V cards got a special art treatment and four VMAX Evolution cards got a special art card in the EV Hero set. Coming back to the question, what makes EV Hero so special? There's something for everyone. If you like Evolutions or Gordy, that's the only catch. The positive side is that almost every Pokemon fan has at least one Evolution they probably like. This set was made to get casual Pokemon fans into the Pokemon trading card game. They dedicated a full Pokemon Center merchandise line of evolutions during this period. The special art cards are one by one, capturing these evolutions in their element. When you look at them, you can forget everything happening around you. Look at the texturing, look at the glitter on the VMAX cards, focus on every small detail within the artwork. Spot Pokemon that look so small compared to the Dynamax version of the VMAX Pokemon. Umbreon VMAX is personally my favorite card. Dynamaxed Umbreon on top of the roof, with the rooftop tiles individually textured. Looking at the starry night, sky full of pure glitter, trying to grab the bright moon because it's so huge now. And we have not even talked about other Evolution Special Art cards in the set. As the illustrator Keiichiro Ito himself said, the actual card is very beautiful and sparkling. This Omion VMAX Special Art card is currently over 60,000 yen in Japan on a secondary market. It costs as much as some 15 or 20 year old cards that are incredibly hard to get from a pack and will probably be never printed again. Is this price justified for a set card that is almost one year old? Well, this product was never easy to obtain from the start, and opening packs for this card is incredibly difficult and risky. One box of EV Heroes right now is selling for over 15,000 yen on the secondary market. In the end, these are incredible small art pieces of your favorite Pokemon done by highly skilled and talented artists. I think we are already looking at a future classic. We might never see a set like EV Heroes ever again that did it this way. EV Heroes is a dream set for every evolution fan.